Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because we're away for the weekend. struggling a little bit today with her uh, fibromyalgia. She's, uh, she's getting up to date and she's got what she calls toothache in her legs and every other muscle. Um, so hopefully that will sort of settle down a little bit. She's obviously took her, her tablets and so hopefully that will settle down a little bit so we can get out and about a little bit later. But uh, where we're heading is about two hour drive from home. Uh, so we'll catch up with you a little bit further along the route. Now made it to Putmea and we're just wandering down towards the lake uh, which I'll give you a couple of shots down there once we get down. So the area around here is absolutely stunning. Mountains and sheep. Beautiful view down there once we get down to the lake. all the way around. So now just on this this trail, just a short walk down to the lake, um, obviously taking our time and we're going to need to stop off a couple of times on the way down. Yeah, good girl, yeah. All right. So this is Buttermere Lake, absolutely beautiful and it's poignant for me because this is where we scattered my mom's ashes. Um, ironically, she did want to ashes scattered on the top of that mountain <laughs> but there's nobody around who can get up there now. <laughs> Heading back to the car now, uh, back to the camera, and uh, have a nice cup of coffee. I think a bit worn out after that bit walk. It's been made a little bit harder because of the wind. I was hoping to try and put the drone up, get some lovely shots because it is absolutely fantastic around the lake. But uh, it's far too windy for the drone. But I do have footage that I've taken at another time when we were here, so I'll try and chop some of that into it just so you can actually say the lake in its in its full glory. So now I'll flip you around you can watch all the sheep. All heading into the corner. I think the farm almost have turned up with a bit of food for them. So I'll make the way across.
this one is, isn't it? The size of them. Bratton come back so. Mind the jumpers. What about the chops? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I love sheep. Uh, not in a weird way, just like sheep. I'll well, just stop off at the pub on the way back. The pub is literally just at the end of the trail next to the car park where we're actually parked at the moment. Nice glass cider. Cheers. Yeah, look, it's been a nice walk. Hey, enjoy it. I'm enjoying the sun. It's a kiss. Mm. So I think the next bit of the plan, I'm going to head back to the car and um, just chill out there for a little bit, have a nice cup of coffee. Van. Van, car, camper, wherever. Have a nice cup of coffee yeah. um, and I'll cross board. I can't have that cross board. I'll get a So I'm going to have a cross board and a cup of is. coffee. <laughs> and then we're going to have a bit uh, drive around and uh, Try and find out where we're going to park up tonight. I've got a few in mind. Um, we'll see what's what. There's the sun coming back out again. How nice is this, Alison? Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Each time we come, it's amazing. Dogs are welcome in that pub as well. They do lovely meals in there. Been in there for meals a couple of times. So you can see how clean this water is. Absolutely crystal clear. This runs down the side of the car park. Toilets in this car park as well. Um, you don't have to peer the toilets. Parking's quite expensive. Up to four hours, 6.50. Up to 24 hours, 8.50. But no camping or overnight occupation of vehicles. So you can't stop in this car park overnight. So we're back from our walk around the lake. We've just had a nice cuppa and a hot cross bun. Very nice. Uh, Alison's just using the, the facilities at the pub. And then we're gonna make our way to try and find our park for the night. So we've got our park up for the night. Uh, this is actually the farm building. Uh, I'm just going to flip you around there. So this is actually the farm building that's at the end of the lake. If you walk around Buttermere, there's normally an ice cream van in there, which is a nice treat as you're coming around. Um, parking in here is four pound PN display. And um, that gives you 24 hours from the time that you actually arrive. Um, as it happens, the machine is actually currently out of order for us, so we can't pay anything. But the sign clearly states in the event that you discover the machine's not working, your parking's temporarily free. Just make it a note of the time and the date, which we've done. So let's just show you around this parking area. So it's absolutely fantastic. It's just along the road from where we were parked at the, the pub earlier. So this is the view from the parking area. Absolutely stunning. There's a few people who's literally just pulled up, who's actually got the rucksacks out and they're going out now for a walk. Um, there's one camper up there, looks like he's got his windows covered, so he's probably here for the night. And there's another one there, bro. I'm thinking they might be out walking. And then right behind the, the park up, got a nice little babbling stream. Absolutely stunning. And that's where our van is. Going to get the van set up a little bit, get the passenger seat swiveled around, get the dogs all sorted, get them fed, and then uh, we can look at getting a meal for us too as well, and then trying to settle down a little bit. So, catch you in a bit. So, the view out the back doors. This is our park up for the night.
absolutely beautiful. There's a few cows just over the back been mooing away. There's a few sheep that's just been pottering about. Obviously we've got the stream running down into this rock at the bottom. So I'm just sitting with the door open but uh, just getting some air in the van. Or a little lily. <laughs> We've got our daisy and our bracken who was sound asleep, I've just disturbed him. And Lucky is already in our cage getting settled. Right, so tonight's meal again controversial. We're having butterish to start. And another that is going straight in that pan. Next on the agenda, some chicken breast. Got the sink full of hot soapy water at the minute, so I'm just rinse off as I'm going. I'll try and cut this into small bits. This knife's not good for this knife. Lily. So I'm literally just going to put this in the pan with the butterish. Like yeah, shouldn't say he's got his prime spot. He knows out. Our hub's working a lot better as well since uh, we changed them jets out uh, by the recommendations of some of the viewers. So again, thank you for that. Just going to cook that through slowly. Obviously it's a small pan. <coughs> so chicken's cooked, mushrooms chopped. Just chopping some onions now. So now I've got the onions and the mushrooms in. I'll let take the chicken out and that's cooked now but it's just sitting in the bowl so that can get put back in once we're ready. So next thing just to save a little bit of time. Stir fry going in. Right so stir fry starting to come down a bit. The chicken, onion and mushroom in. A few egg noodles in. Don't need a bigger pan. Don't need a bigger pan. Definitely need a bigger pan. We've got to skip the noodles here. Jeez. Lid back on because that juice in there is going to help them cook. So I'm just going to leave that now on a low gas and just let them warm through. Looking really nice, although it is bulging the pan. Looking nice. Tall limbs doing nice now, so last thing going in. Got a hoisin sauce. Let's check this baby out. Nice, we'll move the noodles off the top first. That looks uh, quite nice. Oh, son, it's all nice. It does, and I haven't had any carbs today, so I can have the noodles. So, are you looking forward to having a go at that, eh? I am, because the hoisin sauce is sweet, but I haven't. But you've had, had nothing else, so nothing you else should be though, fine so with so what we've got. Okay. Yeah. The noodles are cooked perfect, the chicken's cooked perfect, the stir fry still just got a little bit of a crisp to it, so it's lovely, but it's red hot as well. Tremendous. Well, everybody's settled in for the night now. We've got Bracken fast asleep there. Got our Daisy fast asleep. Well, oh, watching the camera at the minute. Oh, Lily. Oh, Lucky. Alison enjoying. What tea have you got? Chamomile. Chamomile tea. I've got an Irish coffee. I'm just about to have my supper. Hmm. Not the best supper, but. That's my supper. Alison's just had hers. <laughs> What's the matter, Luppy? What's the matter with you? <laughs> so every time Alison stops giving her a bit stroke and pet up, she's
Poetry box. Look at what I've she does it again. Little <laughs> <laughs> kid. There's Lily. Yeah, Lily won't know it's done or not. Hi and welcome to the next morning. So, absolutely beautiful sleep last night. So quiet, so peaceful. Um, there was only one other camper van in the car park last night. Um, although the years, um, there is two, three, four, five, six cars in the car park. Um, as we pulled up last night, they were actually getting their rucksacks and everything ready. So I'm assuming they were out wild camping last night. But absolutely great sleep, really quiet, nothing disturbed us at all. Um, and might be able to hear in the distance some cockerels from the local farm, but couldn't hear them in the van. Anyway, let's flip you around so you can see the views again. I'll have to tilt you up to get this one in. Right, so gonna jump out the van, get some breakfast on. See you in a bit. For breakfast this morning, gonna have poached eggs on cheesy toast. Normally put Put half a cup of water in there, put the top back on and just let that start to bubble. And then we've got the ridge monkey. So this is the way I do it. There is in the comments if you do it different, but this is mine. Two slices of bread. I like seeded bread. Then what we need is some controversial butter-ish. Now if anybody's ever had one of them old fashioned Breville toasties where you butter the outside of your bread and I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be done but it works really well for me. Right, next thing is get the ridge monkey and put butter side down. Put some cheese out and we're getting the green pesto out. Now, I'm not sure if everybody likes green pesto, but works a treat on here. Really nice on a breakfast sandwich. So just get pesto in there as much as you like or as little as you like. It's a slice of mature cheddar, is what I like. Love cheese and the stronger the better. And then get your next piece of bread with the butter facing up on the top. Jobs are good. All right, just light the gas on the ridge, won't eat. You get that going and then nice and slow. Turn that down as low as you can get it. <coughs> I'm gonna give the ridge monkey about three minutes and then turn that round. Flip it over the other side. Now back to the eggs. Let's see all the steam we're creating there. I've got that side window open now, which is a big help. A little bit of this light spray, just a quick pump round a couple of these, whichever ones you're using. Crack your egg. Lid back on. <clears throat> and five minutes. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can say that uh, it makes start to cook already obviously just cooking the one steam right so bridge monkey's been on for a bit just flip that over now on that side yeah that's doing nice in that same again on that side just give it about another three minutes so in 50 seconds you're gonna see a taste sensation plastic's a little bit warm what I find putting a tablespoon in behind it gets that straight out and the next one 
warm, I know that. So, last bit is some black pepper, a little bit of salt. Let's just try one of these eggs. Perfect yolks all the way through. Let's just check this bread. Absolutely beautiful. Well, has to be said, that plate doesn't lie. Right, so, left the bottle, just on the way back home now. We could actually only stay for one night. Um, obviously with Mother's Day coming up. And also Alison has a um, hospital appointment to get to as well, uh, tomorrow. So anyway, we've had a great day up the lakes. Normally when we go over, we have to obviously just visit the lake and then We'll sort of leave and head straight back that day uh, after a bit of a wander around, but it tends to be a little bit much. So it's been great to be able to go there for the first time in the camper and actually just stay overnight. And we had a great overnight spot um, as you've seen in the video. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Um, we're just heading home for about another half an hour. Um, so I'll leave the video there. Hope you've enjoyed this one. All the good stuff, like, subscribe, leave any comments and hopefully see you in the next one.